Hey everyone, it's Retro Gaming now, and we're back with Torchlight, and we're making some serious progress, continuing on through these levels, and that's what we're gonna do. Head back to the Waypoint Portal. Um, I think we just ended up with the Lost Fortress. I don't think we went any further. I think we'd have remembered if we went down here. So let's head on and see what happens. <clears throat> I feel like I could learn some new spells. Maybe there's something I uh... have basked in his presence. The voice in the ember is only a shadow of Audrock's true glory. And I find now that I have no desire other than to serve him and to show his glory to the world. My years of study are nothing to Audrock's vast centuries dwelling in ember. But still, my knowledge sometimes surpasses his. His spirit infuses the ember. It could be concentrated further, bringing his voice to the world. Syl will see the potential. Together, we will free Ordrak from this mountain. Kingdoms will kneel before us, blinded by the radiance of our ascendancy. None will dare question the virtue of our art or the power of Ordrak. Black Palace, floor number 30. Ooh. Okay, and we're back to a really nice, um... Trying to get my bearings. A lot of things going on. These Blood Disciples. Um, we've seen before. And, uh, right off the bat, we're taking some serious damage. So we need to, uh, slow down a little bit. Take things out one by one. Alright. Felwing. Alright, so let's take a look at where we are. Black Palace, which would be a uh, accurate name for this sort of place. Dragonkins. Oh, there's so much going on. Okay. Uh, whew. It's a good thing I've got all these massive health potions. Because uh, it looks as though we're going to need it. So we've got a poison elemental here. And my favorite death animation in the game. Yeah, this is, this is a really, really cool aesthetic. I like all the stuff that's going on. Um, it's going to give us a good time to try out our new weapons. Uh, but my pet is already in trouble. Man, it seems like there's so many enemies. Uh, oh, what is that? I think we may have seen that before. Alright, I'll go ahead and heal both of us. Oh, no! Alright. Yeah, that poison damage really gets you, doesn't it? Dark Zealot. Is no more. Um, alright. So I'm gonna send some, uh, some shots into here. On Bal... Bal's Karath the Fierce, and, uh... I don't want things coming from the other side, so I'm actually going to do a tactical retreat. Because we don't want him doing just that. Just coming up and teleporting. It seems like he does not deal a lot of damage, though. And looks like he's charmed. Alright, well, hopefully there's no quest for that. But we need to kill him. And I gotta move out of this unfortunate position where I can't see. But a Shrine of Mana is just what we need. Thank you very much. As we uh, continue onwards. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. Kill some more of these zealots. Let me see what they are. I can't quite uh, tell. These enslaves look just like skeletons who uh, deal way too much damage. Okay. Alright, difficulty spike uh, right off the bat. Oh, that deals so much damage. Okay. So note to self, get these dark zealots out of the way first. Because uh, they can really deal some damage. So we're going to go ahead, bring up an iron golem. And uh, just got pummeled again. Okay. Right. So I think we're going to have to play... Uh, 
very conservatively, just to be safe. What really we need to be careful of is these ranged poison attacks. Um, I think that's really what's uh, causing us the most damage so far. We've got a couple of doors that opened up. I was afraid to go in. Ooh, what do we got here? Some, uh... What am I looking for? Oh, this one. Turn this on. So we got some uh, cool uh, things over here. That's like a little treasure. Oh, <laughs> that startled me. Alright, so get all of this. Those aren't really worth it, but there is an epic simple hatchet. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, I don't know what a simple hatchet is, but that's an epic one. So got some of these down here. Take them out before they can get to us and just barely dodge that poison bolt. Keep on moving around. We have here Dragon Kit. Right, I see another elemental over there. I'm gonna try and avoid the blasts he does. Right, I see that um, Dragon Kit coming around the side. Blood Disciple, excuse me. Take him out. A little bit of time for our mono to replenish. Because uh, we have to take out this elemental in a minute. Yep, these charging attacks are dangerous. Um, especially when I'm out of mana. Hey, attack him! I don't know why I'm not getting these attacks off. Okay. Yeah. is hurt. Yeah, there's a lot of damage to be had here. We're going to go ahead and use our healing spell. Try and get these guys out of the way. Insufficient mana. And of course I'm out of mana. So it's hand-to-hand -hand combat for a little while, at least and we, until uh, we replenish a little bit. I could use a potion. I actually don't have a lot of potions. Ah, that's not better. I don't know, that kind of had to feel like it was going to be better, but uh, it wasn't. These elementals. Really, my uh, Ember Sword is not effective against them. It is, however, against these. Um, yep, yeah, he's fled alright. Yeah, these elementals are tough. Alright, well, I guess I'll heal him up. I'm gonna try and bring these guys down here so I don't have to attack them head on. Whew, there's that poison attack. Ah! Okay. Run, 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 run. about to flee again. Ooh, I did not see him. I am uh, running out of mana too, so let's try and get this guy out, and then I'm gonna do a few uh, you know, laps. Get my pet a little bit of health. But I would like to get my mana up. Ooh, what do we got here? Besides this elemental. Alright, so we actually had a crash, um, and this has happened before, so I'm actually going to try and get back to where I was, and then I will see you guys once I'm there. Okay, so surely uh, this is not the right way to do it, but I actually just sort of ran, and now I am super cornered and can't move, so I'm just going to be spamming my potions, dealing as much damage as I can, and hope I don't die. But, um... Looks like we're about to be back there. Yeah, so didn't quite get the experience. But um so I take this guy out, we are back in business, uh almost. Is that an epic moldy staff? Oh, I can't go through that. I thought it was something I could go through. 
Okay, uh, yeah. So there's lots of enemies over there, so I'm not going back that direction. Go ahead and use a potion. Oops, my pet. Okay, the capsule I got to shift. I think it's time to get our golem back. He died somewhere along that process, unsurprisingly. Just in time to take out a dragonkin before he takes me out. Whew. Man. Serious difficulty spike. I haven't died yet, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll take all the potions. I have to remember when I go back to town, I need to buy more potions, because I really think I'm going to need that <laughs> moving forward. Yeah. They're just so good at getting at me. They really uh, are resistant to um, me trying to stay away because they just come to me or they use that poison bolt, which is really powerful. And just like that, my pet's fling again. So we'll see what we can do about that. All right. Oh, there's more of them. All right. Time to make a... Uh, Little retreat. One is low, so I'll just get some uh, melee strikes in while I can. I'll take him out melee style, which is fairly effective. <clears throat> but yeah, it uh, looks like I'm poisoned. So, really need to slow down and use this. It's interesting, with this game, I hadn't noticed this. It looks like there's, like, a some area down there where he's fleeing. Like, there's a certain amount of um, health. So it's not one or zero health. I suppose I should help him out with whatever they're doing up here. I don't know the correct way to go. Let's find out in a minute. I don't think this is where we want to be. Your pet is Fight me and Mono we Mono. Right, that was a good time to use a Mono potion. Ah, these zombies, man. Enslaved, rather. Alright, and I'll use a potion on my pet. I don't need a potion on myself. I'm not careful. Man, it's that po these poison attacks from the distance. This is the boss, right? Pain Ming with the red. I'm just gonna get in there and fight. Ugh. Man. Really playing it a little close there, but we're still in the game, we're still alive. Try to get both these dragon kin at once. I don't know if I can get the right angle. Your pet has fled. Yep. Well, that's pretty much the. Uh... Whoa, whoa. Okay. Get back. One too many dragon kins for my liking. And our golem is gone. So let's bring him back. And. Dragonkin time. There we go, super health potion. I think it's worth it to take it here. Alright, zealots out of the way. Pummel these enslaved, and then now we're meleeing the dragonkin. And he dies. Ah, I'm too high. The one time the high ground is not helpful is when it goes over their head. That crystal looks way too cool to just, like, do nothing. I think that should do something. Like a health shrine or something. But alas. So we'll kill them as they walk up. What's that? Tribal shield? Fellowing? Ah, uh, there's our dragon kids. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. Way too many of them. 
Similarly could be said for the enslaved, which are swarming me at present. I don't know where they come from. They seem to just appear. I don't know if something summons them. Ah, uh, this is the problem. It's a boss. I may need to come up and attack him this way. It looks like he's too effective at range. Uma build the destroyer. It's gonna sap all our health potions. Oh, there's two bosses. Well, that's the problem. Or is there? Maybe not. I thought I saw two. He's stuck in the wall. Well, regardless, he can still deal damage. Alright, lots going on over here. I think our uh, golem's gone again. So we'll bring another one. Just trying to stay alive here. Zealots and their ranged attacks. Yeah, I think there's a pretty well uh, rounded group of enemies that we're facing in this floor. Because I think they have some sort of defense against almost every play style. I think it's a pretty good design choice with all this gold. But um, as a result, it's a real pain as I like to use the range attacks. But they have these like little guys that come up when I'm using them and they still attack me, so... I think they do a pretty good job of making it so I can't just sort of do one thing. I have to move around and adapt to the situation. With these Feldings, I should totally be attacking them melee, right? But then the problem is, whenever those Ember Bolts come, I have to be real careful. Maybe I should just stop health a little bit. So on to the elemental. But the problem is, it's going to come from the side, so I need to kill that elemental and move out of the way. Dragonkin. Good, good. Almost dead. Heal every time I can. Looks like we got treasure room down here. Yeah, so there we go. So I think it's just going to be sort of a game of quick adapting. Uh, based on what comes, we've got another treasure room. It means this is the wrong way, but that's okay. We can get some gold out of it. Epic Wobbly Hatchet. What's with these epic hatches that don't seem like they should ever be epic? Do we have an epic basic hatchet? What? Epic Wobbly... Oh, that's right, we lost it, because uh, I had to go back. Like, these epic leather shoes, are they even good? <laughs> no. I don't even know I'm bothering. You know, I should have just gone this bridge the first time. But that's okay. We're actually going to get mostly situated with our health pretty much back. Sniper. Yep, can't do that on the stairs, gotta remember. I'm gonna get this uh, zealot out of the way. Snipe them. Melee that guy. Health potion, watch out for the ember bolts. Or uh, poison, whatever. That little move there is what I call spray and pray. Ooh. Ooh. 
careful. I'm gonna try to monitor this. We don't have to be as conservative now because I can just run over and pick that up. You know, Shrine of Mana is instant. It's not uh, progressive like the potions are. So that's a good thing. A Shrine of Health, I think, would also be useful. Gotta get him out of the way. I see that elemental up there. I don't want to attack it, but I know I need to at some point. Mm, get roasted. Phase portal. Wabam. What? Oh, I got an achievement for that. I don't know if it showed up on your screen. Okay, lots of portals over here. So we just move back. Move way back. We're actually going to use both potions at once. There's a lot coming at us. Okay. I couldn't quite get off the beam off before he charged more portals up there. There's a lot going on, man. Ugh. Reduce the pace of touch. Whoa-ho. Hello there. And goodbye. Almost. Not quite. Man. There's a lot. Way too many of them. Okay, just gotta slow down, slow down. Move out of the way, move out. Each one of these is going to have some number that come out. So we just don't want to get all of them at once. I expect there's going to be another portal up there. Uh, I see there's a boss too. Okay, um... I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I'm going to let him come to me. Oh, now he's charmed. We need to get these uh, blood zealots out. Whoa, lots of them coming. Oh, but they're attacking him. Your pet has fled. Okay. Your pet has fled. So any anytime my pet's fled, that generally means my uh, golem's gone too. Light queen. Oh, there's so much going on. I like, just need to slow down, but I can't. But I should make sure everything out of here that's going to come out is out. We take them out all at once. Oh, we're out of mana. Okay, potion time. Double potion. Huh, epic rotten crossbow. Oh, there's another portal. Okay. Yes, I know he's fling. Slow down. My inventory is full. Yeah, yeah. Surely that's close. What is that statue? Scary. Okay, I think that's everything. So we'll loop down and get all these treasures. I guess it's just this kind of just like a treasure dungeon. I can't carry anymore. Okay. So yeah, there's only one place to go to that portal. I think that's just going to take us back. So that was an interesting phase portal. I feel like we may have seen one of these before. I don't really remember it. There's that boss that's charmed. I guess he's just charmed permanently. So I think this portal is going to take us right back to where we left off. Never say help, no to health potions. Your pet is fleeing. <sighs> it's a long floor. All right, 
gonna take that potion. Keep moving. Uh, I can't even get over. It's not letting me go. Okay, that's the wrong angle. I need to. I really need to attack this guy first. All right. So with these bosses, I'm gonna move forward. Except these guys are coming around the backside, so I have to be really careful. Not to uh, overexert myself. Is that a boss? No. Uh, I keep summoning more of them, though. I just need to get one of these two out, and I'm dead. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go ahead and resurrect here. I was very close to, to getting out of that. I'm overburdened. Spell. Summon Flaming Sword for it. Well, that seems like a good spell to learn. I'm going to dump that. Summon a Flaming Sword for it. Well, let's put that at number 8. 8. Well, as advertised, let's see if it's any good. Unfortunately, we lost some experience, so that's going to set us back. <sighs> We're getting close again. It's when they surround me, I think it's just like... It's a numbers thing, but it's also a positioning thing, too. And that's why it's, you know... It really is the fan rules when I move back and just spin around. I think I'm going to be able to get these guys out. Careful. Alright, there's some stuff going on up there. My sword's gone. Honestly, I can't tell if he's good or not. Alright. Well, they're going that way. I think this is the way we need to go. I'm not sure, though something here. This is what I was looking at. Ah! I didn't realize I teleported. Your has oh yes, give me the sweet potions. Yeah, I know. Your pet is hurt. Huh. Interesting. So it's like this little teleportation thing. So looks like this is the way to go. Or maybe not. Your pet is hurt. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom my map out a little bit. I don't see the right way forward. Maybe we need to go down the stairs? So we'll give us time to heal up a little bit, though. There's something over here we haven't been yet. This way. All right. There. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I sure hope I'm not stuck. I am very happy I invested in those magic points. Yep. He's fled. I know. We're going up and we're fighting him old school. With strikes to their face. And he's dead. My pack is full. My inventory is full. That didn't kill him. Okay. Heal. Oh, I can't summon another sword for 38 seconds. 
Uh, okay. <sighs> this is not the right place to go. I put myself into a corner that 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 was my own tactical fault. Sword. Hit eight. Try and avoid using a mana potion unless I need to in the heat of battle. Get out of here. What's that? Oh, it's something on the other side of the wall. Something I don't want to see what it is, but I am not going to have much of a choice, am I? Because it's Olsdrathon the Cutter. Undurzen the Cutter. Yeah, somebody being enslaved, that's really what's getting me. It's because they can come up to me, and there's that too, so we need to get them out of the way. I will give the game designers credit. Um, for once, their summons are actually difficult to deal with. I'm overburdened. And oh, you know, I gotta go to defense. I think that's seriously our biggest issue right there, and we're gonna do our main attack. That was another one. Well, it's a good thing we didn't face both these at once. We would have probably been in trouble. Now I'm not in a good tactical position, because he's coming from the other side. So this is just going to be spamming mana potions and just hanging in there. Sometimes that's all you can do. Oh, there's the stairs, so... Wow, that was a long floor. So we'll take out the trash, as I like to say. Get rid of these guys around here, and then we are going to uh, head back to town. And not die right here. This would be the worst place to die. So we need to move back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, polished eyeball. Is full. I might double dump that. No, I can't that. carry anymore. That's not what I want to do. Okay, dump. Pick up the polished eyeball. Mm, seven manic, seven magic attribute bonus. That is going on something. That one. My health is low. Oh, and finally, finally, that's it. So we will. Head back to town and sell our stuff. That was a difficult floor, for sure. Um, so let's see what we've got. Yeah, it was a 14th strength that should be, but I don't really use strength that much. Epic crack buffalo sell stuff. I got this epic stuff, which is not really that good. Can't do that. Huh, alright. I, I think we're gonna end the episode there. It's retro gaming now, playing Torchlight, and we are progressing slowly but surely. I'll see you guys in the next episode.